I am so delighted to be here. Um, it seems like a, a long way from where we started, uh, almost five and a half, six years ago. Oh, well, there we go. And um, beyond that, I mean, a little bit of the calm before the storm uh, with, you know, with our match coming up on, on, on Sunday. <clears throat> but it, it gave me a chance to kind of think about that. And, and you know, I, I would say that we've tried very hard to be intentional and purposeful about what we've, um, what we've built here, um, certainly from the stadium. And, but even going all the way back when we were fortunate enough to, to uh, be selected by MLS, and I knew that, that I needed somebody who had really, who had run a soccer club, and not just a piece of it, but the whole thing. And, you know, I cannot say how happy I am to have Ian, uh, Ian Eyre, <clears throat> running this club and and he's been just a great partner and you know everything has kind of gone from there from you know working to uh, um, to promote Mike Jacobs our general manager and Gary Smith our our coach from the USL team and and if I do say so I think we we make a great group and I think that's been very important for us <clears throat> likewise we've been you know intentional um, about uh, how we built the team. I should say the, how they built the team. Um, I've, I've learned a lot in the, in the process. And one of the things that was important to me was I wanted to build something that was sustainable, not just a flash in the, in the pan. And, and if you think about that, I don't know how you build something that's sustainable and carries on if you're not keeping... Your, your best players. Um, and, and that's kind of what we're here to talk about today for a moment. And I'll turn to my left for a minute. And um, Hani, I mean, this guy, this guy will always be our first designated player. Um, <clears throat> and that was a, a big deal to us. And it was, it was important. And, and, and Hani more than rewarded us, uh, particularly last year when he had um, clearly an MVP caliber season and and that's carried on and um honey you're so important to everything that we you know we do um you know out there on the field particularly as we you know move forward with the attack and and to to know that we're gonna have you through the 2025 season and and you know is, is really very exciting to us and i cannot be happier um, to to announce you know this this uh, additional four years for you and so we're um, we're really delighted um, to to have you um, and then likewise <clears throat> over on my right with Walker um, you know Walker uh, to, to two years in a row uh, defender of the year in the league um, you've now become kind of a mainstay of the national team uh, you know I. I, I kind of had to pinch myself a few months ago when uh, we were playing Panama, and you're the captain of the U.S. team, and Annabelle Godoy is the captain of the Panamanian team, and they both play for Nashville. They're both our guys. Now, Annabelle didn't have to go score and, and, and beat us, but uh, that, 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 that aside, I mean, I was, I was super proud of that, and it was just, it was awesome. And, um, you know, beyond that, um, you know, I also know that um, oftentimes designated players, th those designations or those slots are held for, for attackers and, and, and strikers and, and not so often defenders. But I don't know anybody that, that better deserves being a designated player in this league than you do. So it's a, it's a, it's a real privilege to be able to to announce again today that, like Hani, that you, you, you have uh, signed an extension through the 2025 season and are now one of Nashville SC's um, designated players. So um, I'm, I'm delighted for both. Um, uh, you know, I should also say um, <clears throat> um, we're, we're featuring you two guys um, and featuring you for a reason, but um, our, our, you know, Mike and the and the team have extended other key players in, in our group, and in Annabelle Godoy and Randall Liel and Dan Lovitz and Brian Anunga, and not to mention um, 
Dax, and by the way, shout out to Dax and his wife Jen for their new new baby boy. That's awesome. And you know, as much as you know, we're, we're players. We're also human beings, and 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 it's it's awesome that uh, that they have addition to their family. And and we we've we've got uh, Tucker Zimmerman here too, along with, with with Sally. And Tucker, you can look back on this at some point and enjoy this. Um, but. Um, and I, you know, I may have list, left out somebody. I would not um, <clears throat> have done that intentionally. But um, you know, I'm really pleased with with not only what we've created, but but how we operate going forward. And and I really want I want Nashville SC to be um, not just successful, but I want it to be a place where players want to come uh, because they 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 get taken care of for the job that they do, but they also get um, feel like they're valued as, as human beings and you know in the rest of their life uh, so uh, with that Christina I will um, uh, be quiet and let you say what's next thank you hello everybody um, yeah I couldn't be more proud of this moment um, I'm so happy to be here in Nashville and um, I really want to thank um, John Ingram for his trust and believing in myself and um, yeah, obviously in the team and um, it's it's a great journey so far. Um, I didn't really know what to expect from Nashville, the city. I never really heard about much uh, about Nashville before. I'm from Germany and um, yeah, we we don't know much about um, Nashville and um, I had great talks with Mike um, before I signed here and. Um, the project was always a really, really impressive one, and um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, and um, so, but I didn't know much about the city, and um, from the first day, I just can't thank everyone in the organization, and um, everyone welcomed me with open arms and showed me the city, and um, that's really something special. It's really a feeling like my second home, and um, I feel so feel so good. That's why it was never a doubt for me to. I wanted to stay here long term. Um, that's that's where I belong. I'm here to 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 be successful, to help the team. And um, obviously, um, we are all we are all built to to win. And um, I'm here to to win silverware at one time, at one point. And um, I'm really happy. I can't thanks uh, everyone enough. Um, Mike, Ian, um, John Ingram. It's it's a pleasure to work with you guys, and um, I will definitely always give my best and um, try for for more success. And um, I think we are on a very very good run, and um, we should we should work hard. And I will always work hard, um, and we can we can achieve together great great things. Um, yeah, and um, I'm really looking forward for um, one other thing, and um, I want to I want to um, help the the Nashville soccer community. I will I will open up um, uh, my own Mukta um, soccer academy um, in the near future um, to help to help the kids here because I'm from Europe I know what it means to to run through a good academy to to get good training um, I want to offer up that here in the city um, and yeah and our main goal will be to to bring one of the kids who is born and raised here to to the club and hopefully. At one t at one uh, day we we'll, we'll play in the stadium, um, yeah. But thank you so much um, for your, for your trust and believing in me. It means a lot. Um, and now I talked enough. I think it's time for for Walker to to say something. Thank you. That's uh, uh, it's very well said, Hani. You you really did a great job there. And you know I want to start as well, uh, similar to Hani, thanking John uh, for your commitment to everything that's happened here. I mean, you look back about the last five and a half years, getting, uh, you know, the club, getting a stadium done, um, believing in players, committing to players, and then now here we are uh, two days away from opening this amazing uh, facility. So we couldn't be more thankful as players for your commitment to us um, to on and off the field. So thank you, and as well to Mike and Ian, um, just with all the, the work that goes on behind the scenes and what it takes to build a great team. And certainly I feel like we are a great team and we're gonna to continue to be so because of your commitment to us and doing things the right way. So thank you guys. Um, this means so much to me um, and my family. You know, ever since I 
got traded to Nashville, um, there was talk about, hey, we're committed to you. Um, you know, we want to make sure that you're here, that you're comfortable, that we can build around you. And they've backed it up every step of the way. And and this deal and this opportunity is a commitment on both sides to, to give our best to each other and say, I respect what you've done on the field. I respect what you guys have done building a team. And we're going to go win trophies together. And so I'm excited that Hani as well, um, he's been such a big part of what we've done and our success. And to be able to, to both be here through 2025 is it gives us a really good chance to win silverware. And so um, as well as all the other guys that John mentioned who have re-signed along the way, um, we're on a good track. So I'm excited as a competitor because you want to be around competitive people, uh, good teammates, guys that push you every day. And that's now our expectation. We're not going to get complacent. I know Hani, I know his mentality. And, you know, this isn't just us saying, hey, we, we did it. We made it. This is we're so far. This is just the beginning. And. <clears throat> Um, I've always felt a great responsibility to Nashville to, to deliver, and that's only increased um, since this. So very grateful, um, very humbled, and, and thanks again to, to everyone who made this possible, especially the teammates, because we've gone out and done things that in the first two years are really difficult to do for an expansion team. And so thankful to them, thankful to, again, John and, and Mike and Ian and, and everyone else, and special thanks to, to Sal. and. And Tuck, who <clears throat> continue to be my rock and, and are there even when, you know, we have some busy road days. So uh, thank you and very happy to have this news out in, out in public. Congratulations to the two of you. Uh, we'll now open the floor for questions. Uh, please raise your hand if you have a question for either of them. And we'll pass the microphone around. Uh, Um, so this question is both for, first of all, congratulations, Walker and Hani, on the, on the extensions. Um, I wanted to ask you guys just about the time that this is taking place. And, you know, just a couple of days, it's going to be a brand new stadium. And you guys have been here um, since the beginning. You know, what does it mean to you guys personally to basically take steps since 2020 um, in your own individual careers as a stadium was being built? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great timing right now. Um, we are so excited to, to play in the new stadium, um, the biggest soccer stadium here in the United States. And uh, it means a lot for both of us, like we said. And um, we are here to be successful, and we hopefully make that home uh, to a very successful home. No, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, when we first got here, it was you know, this day has been kind of in the back of our minds. And it's actually crazy to think of how quickly all the time has gone by um, to be where we are right now on the precipice of this opening game. And it's something that you rarely are able to do in a career. You know, there's not that many opportunities to open up a brand new stadium, especially one, like Connie mentioned, that's, that's going to be the biggest and best in the country. And so we're all extremely excited. We want to make this an absolute fortress um, where, where opponents are very scared to come play. We want to make it a place where People of Nashville want to show up every single game saying this is the can't miss event of the week. You know, we want to go see Nashville SC go and compete and win. And so I think that the venue certainly gives everyone the opportunity to do that. Yeah, thank you so much. And um, congratulations to everyone who's a part of this team to become such historic. Um, and, and my question is for John Ingram. Um, so what assessments um, do you make from the beginning of the project since you decided to uh, be part of it and now it just stays just to opening it the, the whole the road to to this great moment and as well as what do you think um would be your feelings if you would win if, if Nashville would win the cup this year the same year that the stadium opens uh, <clears throat> um the, the assessment you know i i've got i don't know um <clears throat> It's um, it's been a huge amount of work by a lot of people, um, and, and certainly well beyond me. Um, and I'm mostly just proud for all of us. I mean, because I think we've created something that's very special, and and not just the stadium, but hopefully the culture too. I mean, I think both of those things matter, and I, I guess maybe ultimately probably more responsible for culture than the stadium, you know, I mean, because culture emanates from the top. But, you know, as I said before, I, I, I think we've, we've had a lot more success, as Walker said, than, than people would have thought. Usually an expansion side supposed to take their whoopings and just be thankful for being there. And we've given more than we've got 
and and I'm I'm really proud of the guys um, and and everybody for that. Um, and I, you know, I I look forward to what we can do. Um, you know, I I certainly look forward to Sunday. It's a it's going to be a you know a very special day, but it's um, you know on the on the road to other things and and you know I, I mean with regard to MLS Cup. I mean, you got to get in the playoffs first, and and I think you know you got to take it a step at a time and a match at a time. I mean, they're they're kind of not so many easy outs anywhere in this league, are there, guys? I mean, it's 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 hard everywhere, and you know, um, I think it's better to just <clears throat> try your best to be prepared every match, do well, and 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 if if uh, if you if we if we do our job and do it well you know, maybe we'll be in that conversation at the, at the end. Tom. Thanks, guys. Uh, congrats, I guess, on the announcements, everybody. Um, this one is, I guess, more specifically for Walker that, you know, in this in this league, as, as John alluded to before, you know, for the most part, DP spots go to attackers or maybe even central midfielders. So what does it mean for the, what the club is showing in you to make you one of the few DPs for a defender in this league? It's, I mean, incredibly humbling, first of all, just that um, that they would commit to me in that way. And I think you look at the league and the amount of attacking talent that is coming in year after year, and you got to have guys who can stop them, right? And so um, center backs, you know, it's an extremely important position. I'm proud to, to have this deal done as a center back, um, and I don't take that lightly. And so I think that, you know, hopefully other players, especially defenders, can look at this and have a little hope that, hey, if I can go out day in, Day in, day out, game in, game out, I have the opportunity to do this. And so um, I'm excited um, to, to have this opportunity and, again, not going to take it lightly. We'll go on to uh, Chris. Yeah. Chris Davis with News Channel 5. Uh, Hani, curious if you could tell more about your uh, youth soccer academy uh, in the works and what that might look like and what it might mean to help grow the sport here in Nashville. Yeah, today is not the time to talk about this. Uh, I just wanted to mention it. Um, there will be very, very soon an announcement. Hi, uh, Rebecca Cardenas. I'm with News 4. What do you guys think, you know, this is a relatively new league and now a brand new facility, um, which, as mentioned, is the biggest soccer-specific stadium in the country. What do you think this does to move the needle for soccer in the United States in general and, and um, soccer culture in America? I can take that. Um, I think, you know, especially for me growing up in the Southeast, you know, when I was growing up watching MLS, there's not a lot of teams that were even around me. Um, so to have Nashville as such a, a central location where kids can look up and say, I want to play for Nashville, you know, that's such an incredible opportunity and inspiration for those kids. Um, and now with the growth of our academy, that makes it really possible for a kid to grow up and say, I want to play for Nashville one day. I'm going to go to the academy. Um, and I'm going to train there with the, the 13s all the way up and then get my chance with the first team. So it's, it's really important for the growth of, of soccer and this community. Um, obviously, you look ahead to the World Cup in 2026. That's going to be in, in the United States. Another great opportunity for hopefully Nashville to get a bid and, and have uh, all the people come out and see what an amazing stadium, city, uh, and location this is. So I think it's, it's a huge opportunity for us the stadium makes a lot of things possible and um hopefully you know kids can see see what's going on here and and feel that and want to be a part of it honey what, let me say something <clears throat> yeah i i i really love, love all of our players and <clears throat> but i think it's you know having walker walk walker is not homegrown here but you're homegrown Dallas, I guess. Yeah, um, Atlanta, and Dallas, Atlanta, yeah. Dallas, and <clears throat> and but being an American too, and up in this position, I think there's a there's a great opportunity for young kids, young Americans that are in academies or thinking about uh, that are great, that are very talented athletes, and go, wow, maybe I could, maybe I could be a professional soccer player. I mean. Yeah. The, the the great talents could can choose you know maybe multiple sports and you know I I, I think you know I, I I'm hopeful among other things I mean that um, you know having Walker um, as a as a DP can can make that point and and be um, an inspiration as you mentioned you know for 
kids growing up in this country to consider, you know, professional soccer as a as a as an option. Um, Claudio Villalobos from Fútbol en la Piel. <clears throat> Along with the, Mr. Ingram's words, I think I asked you this before, but it seems to be the question seems to be getting bigger every time I see you on a press conference. I told you, I asked you before how, because I remember the first interview we had with you as you signed up and came to Nashville that one day. I still have the interview with me. And I was listening to it the other day, and I said, well, so many things have happened, especially for you since that day, uh, in terms of what you have accomplished in Nashville, what you've done to the national team, uh, even becoming a starter and now going to the World Cup. Tucker coming along, and he wants to speak too well. But, uh, you know, and now resigning with the team, uh, isn't that... How, how, when does it take it feel you like it was too much all of a sudden? <laughs> a lot has definitely happened in the past couple of years, and it all started with moving here. And um, it's just provided on and off the field such an amazing environment for me and my family and um, to really feel settled here, to, to buy a house and get a dog and, and grow a family. Mm -hmm. I mean, all those things just make you feel comfortable and at home. And on top of that, when you have a, a work environment that – um, you know, satisfies those cravings of, of competing and winning. Um, when you put all that together, it's a no-brainer. And that's really what's happened here. And, you know, with the national team stuff as well, this is, I wouldn't be able to achieve the goal of, of playing in a World Cup if I'm not in a good situation at a, at a club team. And so to be able to perform uh, at the club level is, is a very important thing to be able to have that opportunity to compete in a World Cup. And so, um, between again teammates, staff, um, they've given me the opportunity to, to do that, and so a lot's happened. Uh, a lot's still going to happen, and you know it's about focusing on one thing at a time. And right now, that's this next game, and then after that game, it's the next one, and you just kind of slowly go through. And it does get difficult because there's always a, something that's next, and so you want to take the time to celebrate and enjoy the moment. But it's really hard as a competitor because you always know there's another goal, there's something else to achieve, and so the time to relax and look back will be. When, uh, when the boots are, are hung up and, um, and it's the end of the career. So I'm focused on moving forward, focused on one thing at a time. And uh, again, none of it's possible without the setup that has happened both on and off the field in Nashville. Yeah, this question's for, for John and for Hani. I'll start with you, uh, John. I want to ask you, take you back to, you know, when yourself and Ian and Mike went to go and, and, and first meet Hani. Um, and recruit him to, to Nashville. I want to ask you about uh, the process uh, of bringing someone, as Hani said earlier, from Germany, didn't really know about Nashville. What's the process of, of bringing a DP and, and growing uh, with him in a new city and allowing him to get settled here? Um, and, and for you, Hani, what did it take? Um, what did you go through in these past couple of years to not only be able to perform on the field, but get used to being uh, a Nashville guy um, you know, in this city? Let me start. Uh, <clears throat> I, you know, I think I, w I would just start. I, I think most of it is is really for Hani. I, I think from our standpoint, and this goes back to <clears throat> intentionality and Ian and Mike and 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 the, the 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 team of wanting knowing that. I mean, Hani's come from a totally different environment. Would have no way of knowing very would know very little about Nashville and trying to help you get settled and and that's something that 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 I know is important and we try to do with all new players um, you know it really matters um, if players have kids where are the kids going to go to school you know if if there's a wife or a girlfriend you know what 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 do they care about what do they need you know all so so those kind of things are you know calculated now now uh, Hani could better answer how we did if we did okay when you when you showed up, um, but and 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 how you've done since then. But um, um, but there there's a lot of intentionality in in that area. Yeah, I mean it wasn't easy. I, I'm not gonna lie. It it was pretty difficult, especially because of COVID. Um, it was hard for everyone. Um, my family couldn't couldn't come see me or my friends, um, but. Everyone around the club or in the club was like so nice to me, and I have to give really credit to to the, the people here in Nashville. They they're super nice. I'm from Berlin. It's a, the capital of Germany, and it's a little bit no one. They are nice, but they're not like <laughs> caring for you. And um, I had that feeling from the first day that 
um, especially the club is taking care of me so much and um, giving me the time to adapt because um, we all saw it. It took it took a while and um, really the the league also is um, developing so well. Um, so it's not it's not just a, a league where you just come in and um, destroy it because you're from Europe. No, it's not like that. Um, the players are very good here, and and to, you need to work hard. And um, but for me, the most important was um, in the end that I really um, adapt to the United States because it is a different lifestyle, and um, just to just to accept and um, want to live here. And that's that's what was really in my um, decision to sign a new deal here. That I want to be here. It's not it's not that. Um, yeah, that's the only club who wants me. No, I want to be here. I want to be successful here in the city and in the club. And um, I think that's, that was the, the main reason why I stayed here or why I signed the new deal. Yeah, my question is for both Walker and Hani. Um, you, you kind of alluded to it just a second ago, but you, you guys both came to Nashville in, right before a really crazy time, obviously, with COVID and everything. And now that things are starting to hopefully get back to normal, what are you kind of looking forward to about being in Nashville long term, um, just besides the team and, and everything, which is obviously the priority? But what about the city makes it a place that you want to stay long term? I think for for me, it's you know relationships, and Hani alluded to the fact that you know a, almost everybody that you come across is just genuinely nice. Um, you know, we walk around our, our neighborhood and just get stopped all the time, just talking with neighbors, and it's just so friendly. And it's not like that everywhere. And so I, I think we don't take that for granted. Just the relationships that now that especially COVID seems to be a little bit behind us, that hopefully we can move forward and grow those relationships, grow, um, you know, with the work that we're going to do in the community. I mean, um, that's what I'm really excited about. Yeah, I mean, um, I met friends here. I met my now fiance here in Nashville. She's American. And um, yeah, I, I see myself here um, right now. So, um, I mean, I'm very excited for the future and I can't wait. Yeah. Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. Uh, thank you very much.